Welcome everyone. This video is in celebration of National Quilting Day, which is on Saturday, March 16th, 2019. It is the same day in which this video will be posted. In celebration of the day, I thought it would be great to do a very simple two project sew along. So here we go. For our, for our first project, we're going to sew a mug cozy. For this project, you will need two buttons, four different, sorry, three different cuts of fabric, two elastic bands, four inches each. What I've done is use some wonder clips to clip the edges together. You can use thread or you can use wonder tape. And you wanna make sure you have a cut of batting. To make this mug cozy, there is a pattern that is available for download. If you're watching this video on my website at www.joshsoles.space, then at the bottom right hand corner of this video, there'll be a red button that says free download. Just click on it and you will get access to the pattern. If you're watching this video via YouTube, then the link to the pattern will be in the description just below this video. So let me explain the pattern. So there's the A part and there's the B part. For the A part, you will need two cuts. You'll need one for the front side of the cozy and you'll need one for the inside of the cozy. You wanna make sure that when you're making your cuts that it is along the fold. So for the front, you wanna make sure that the fabrics are folded right sides together, then cut. And then for the inside, you want to make sure the fabrics are wrong sides together, then cut. For the B portion, you will also need two pieces. As you can see, it's not along the fold. These are two separate pieces that will be put together to make a hole or somewhat come together to make a hole. So for your first cut, you need to make sure that the right side of the fabric is facing up. So you put this piece on top, which is the right side facing up, you'll make a cut, then take this pattern piece and then you will flip it and you will make a second cut again with the right side of the fabric facing up. Now my suggestion for cutting your batting is to actually unfold the front piece of fabric for your mug cozy and then cut out your batting that way. So the first thing we need to do is lay out the front and the back pieces. So here is our back. So your front piece, which is the front of your mug cozy, it will be facing, the right side is facing up. With the back side, of your mug cozy, which is these two pieces, the right sides will be facing down. So basically right sides together, but front piece right side up, back piece right side down, facing the front piece. So what you wanna do is you want to line up your front pieces, sorry, you wanna line up your back piece with the outside edge of your front piece. So let's do this one first. And what you wanna do is you want to make a fold in and you wanna 
follow the crease of the fold that is on your front piece. So just finger press that. And then what you should do is then take it to, take this piece to your ironing board to really press it. And do the same for the other side. You wanna make sure you line up the outside edges. And once you do that, again, make this fold and let the fold of your front piece be your guide. Finger press that and then take it to your ironing board to give it a good press. Okay, now that we've pressed our back pieces, now let's lay out the way they should be sewn. So first you want to take your inside piece. Now when you made your inside piece, remember that the wrong sides were facing together when you made the cut. So, so half of the right side is up. So you want to make sure that when you turn it, the right sides are facing down. Then you want to put your batting on top of that. Then put your front piece on top of that. And you want to make sure that your front, with your front piece, the right side is facing up towards you. Then we want to put on our elastic. Now you need to make a decision on which side your elastic will go. Whether it will go on the right side or whether it will go on the left side. So here is a mug cozy that I did about three years ago. And if I open it up, you'll see that this is the top portion and this is the bottom portion. So if we turn it around. You need to make a decision as to whether you want the elastic to go from the left to the right to button or whether you want the elastic to go from the right to the left to button. So for this one, I'm going to put my elastic here on the left. Also something else I should mention is you, you see this mug cozy I did about three years ago. You see it's actually smaller than this one. So this one that we're making is actually bigger. And the reason for that is if you have this on a mug, right, and you're holding this, some of your hand and fingers are going to be exposed on that hot coffee cup. But with this one, it should eliminate that. So that's why this mug cozy is a little bigger than what you would typically see on a disposable mug, typically get with a disposable mug cozy if you go to a place like Starbucks or Dunkin'. So I'm just going to strategically place my elastic. And you can basically put them wherever you like. And basically I am lining up the edge of my clip here with the edge of my fabric. So once you've placed your elastic where you want it, whether it's on the left or on the right, then what you need to do, and you need to make sure that the elastic is on the inside of your 
seam that you're going to sew and not on the outside because if it's on the outside then you have no elastic to put onto the button so you want to make sure that your elastic is on the inside of the seam that you're going to sew. So once you've pinned it together or taped it together or wonder clipped it together go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter of an inch all the way around. Now that you've sewn it together go back and make sure to trim along the corners. You want to trim close to the thread but you want to make sure not to cut the thread. After you trim the corners it should look something like this. Then what you need to do is carefully fold it out, turn it inside out, one side carefully, fold it inside out, the other side. Push it all the way through. Making sure to work out the corners. Pull those out. Again, work out the corners. Also make sure to trim your threads and take it to your ironing board, give it a good press, and this is what your mug cozy should look like. Next thing to do is just sew on the buttons and you wanna make sure to sew them here on the outside. You would strategically to sew them on. You can hand sew them or you can machine sew them. So you're probably wondering what the back part here is. So if, you're, if your coffee shop offers rewards points and it gives you a little card, you can stick your little card in there. Or if you have a weekly or monthly coffee budget you could stick five ten twenty dollars in there and you know that it would be secure because this would be your backside of your mug cozy while this would be the front so no one would ever know that there is money in it so there you go so that is our first project mug cozy done so our next project will be bookmarks. So for our next project here we are sewing a fabric bookmark. What you need is four six and a half by two and a half pieces of fabric and one six and a half by two and a half piece of batting, as well as four, six and a quarter by two and a quarter cuts of interfacing that you will iron to all four pieces of fabric. So first thing we need to do is you need to have two pieces that'll be your front, one piece that will be your inside and one piece that will be the back. So what we need to do with our front pieces is we need to fold them in half. So fold them in half and take them to the ironing board and give them a good press. I should have mentioned that when you go to press them, you want to make sure that they are wrong sides together. And again, these are the front 
of our fabric bookmark. So let's start putting the pieces together. We want to start with the inside piece. We want to make sure that it is face down. Put our batting on top. Then we want to add our front, our back piece. It is facing up. And then we want to put in our front pieces. We want to make sure that the raw sides are on meet raw side. So raw side this side and then raw side for this side. Here again raw sides to raw side. You can pin them together or put wonder clips around them. And so what you want to do is take it we are now take this to our sewing machine to sew a quarter inch all around. It's best to start on one of the sides, stopping a quarter inch at the turn and sorry, stop at a quarter inch at one end, give it a turn, sew down, stop a stop a quarter inch away, turn. So quarter inch down, stop a quarter inch away, turn, and so forth. So let's take this to our sewing machine, sew it, and then come back. Now that we've sewn our bookmark together all the way around, what we want to do is make sure to trim the corners. After you've trimmed the corners, it should look something like this. You want to trim as close to the stitch line, but not. you don't want to trim the stitch line. So now what we're going to do is flip it inside out. And turn those corners as best as possible. Here you can use um, that purple thing if you've got one. You can use a pin. You can use a chopstick. You can use a skewer. Just try to get those ends out as best as possible. Make them pop. So and make sure you trim off any other threads or anything like that. And once you're able to get your edges out as best as you can, then take this to your sewing, take this sorry to your ironing board and give it a good press. And you can adorn this any way that you want. You can add buttons, you can add applique. Um, whatever your heart's desire. So we have a bookmark that goes along with our coffee cozy and um, that should be a good sort of conversation starter. You walk into Starbucks or Dunkin' and you got your coffee, you got your mug cozy on your coffee mug and you have a book and you're using a matching bookmark that goes along with your coffee cozy so someone may even ask you about that and you can tell them that you've sold this project for national quilting day and who knows maybe they may ask you to sew them one as well well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also Feel free to share it via social media. And until next time, happy sewing.